in pre-stress concrete uh, sections uh, say concrete section of rectangular concrete cross section of dimension B by D is pre-stress at an eccentricity of E say so due to this pre-stressing force P over here it should not be like that under the pre-stressing force only the tension is getting developed at the topmost fiber or if this pre-stressing force is applied above the neutral axis and uh, due to this pre-stressing force uh, bottom bottom most fibers are subjected to the tensile stresses beyond the uh, beyond the flexural capacity of the concrete so as we know that the concrete is weak in tension we need to avoid a uh, tension conditions at the top fiber as well as at the bottom fiber under the pre-stressing action only so there should be a somewhat limitation to this eccentricity e to which this pre-stressing force can be applied below the neutral axis or above the neutral axis so that the resultant stresses what we are getting this resultant stresses if I am applying a pre-stressing force below the bottom below the neutral axis uh, so the tensile stresses at top must be zero and this sigma should be somewhat having somewhat values which will be a compressive tensile stresses must be zero so there should be somewhat limit so if we are providing such a limit then this distance will be called as a Kern distance and this will be denoted by KB that is the Kern bottom distance okay similarly if we are pre-stressing the same cross section above the neutral axis in such a way that the resultant stresses would be like this that is the zero stresses at bottom and somewhat the positive compressive stresses at top then such distance will be called as then again this distance will be a current distance and it is denoted by kt okay so this is the idea and we need to maintain the uh, all the pre-stressing cables within the current distance so let us see what is the current distance for rectangular cross section so for the member <coughs> of b by d pre-stressed uh, pre-stressed by a ten, uh, pre-stressed by keeping a tendon below the neutral axis let this neutral axis is kept at a kern distance bottom kern distance let it denote by kb okay so if we are pre-stressing this uh, cross section within the kb that is within the kern distance then the resultant stresses would induce a zero tensile stresses or zero stresses at top and somewhat the compressive stresses at bottom. So these stresses will be comprises of a direct stress plus bending stress like this. Correct. So I am writing here an equation for a top stresses that is if I need Ft equals to zero. So it will be a P by A minus PE by Zt which will be equals to zero so from here we can write that e by z t equals to one by a so where e is nothing but this kb so here i am getting that e equals to z t by a but e is nothing but eccentricity which we are uh, designating by a term kb so from here we can conclude that bottom current distance kb is equals to top section modulus zt by a this is bottom current distance bottom current 
okay if we provide a pre-stress within this kb so it will be ensure that there will be a no tensile stress at top if we provide pre-stressing force within kb say here there may be a somewhat compressive stress over here but it is not a uh, matter it will not create any issue since concrete is stronger in compression but we can ensure that there will be a no tensile stresses over here similarly i'm going to write if 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 we are going to provide a, a tendons over here at top okay so let this tendon be provided at kt okay so equation for a bottom stresses would be like this that is fb will be equals to the equation will not change that it will be p by a again it will become minus because this time we are going to provide a press stress above the neutral axis so bit obvious that uh, bending stresses which will be induced at the bottom fiber will be of uh, tensile nature so here again i am taking minus sign and it will be again p upon this time z b okay so what we are going to get from this equation from this equation we are going to get k t that is the top current distance will be equals to z b by a again okay so from k b and z t we can conclude that for a rectangular cross section what is z since z t will be equal to z b and this will be equal to b d square by 6 upon what is a a is nothing but b into d so from here what we are getting we are getting this as d by 6 so for a rectangular cross section kt equals to kb equals to d by 6 but for a uh, i section or t section we need to find this kt and zt and to ensure a no stress condition either in top fiber or bottom fiber we need to keep the pre-stressing forces within these current distances or we can say we need to keep the pre-stressing forces within this current core okay so for a rectangular cross section i can mark d by 6 from here like this this is the d by 6 and d by 6 at bottom again this is a d by 6 so in all this distance will be a d by 3 and this is the kern zone this ensures that if we provide a pre-stressing force or a pre-stressing tendon within this kern zone no tensile stress will be induced anywhere any of the fibers not at the bottom fiber not at the top fiber so this is the importance of a kern zone